Good evening, Barangay La Filnas. It's day 33, Thursday, June 2, 2022. James chapter 5, verse 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Scripture insights. Have we ever lived in a more divided time? God wants to heal the divisiveness. If we come in humility to pray for each other, God may heal us. I desperately want to experience the kind of healing that breaks boundaries, the kind of healing that brings unity, alignment, and passion to our shared mission. However, the necessity of confession can be scary. I do not want to analyze how I contribute to the divisiveness. What are my sins? What am I posting? How am I speaking to others? How have I been acting? If I want to be the right to be the righteous person who prays powerfully and effectively, then I must first take an honest look at myself, recognize my sins, confess my sins, pray with and for others and experience the healing God wants to give. I want to be the Christ-like disciple who prays with power and effectiveness. Today's prayer, God, help me become the kind of person who seeks healing. Give me eyes to see my duplicity. Give me humility to confess. Grant to us the healing you desperately want to give. Bless the church with more Christ-like disciples. Prayer journal reflections. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life and the life of the Lafilness Church? Our devotion for tonight is written by Mike Kitsko, District Superintendent, Eastern Michigan. Thank you very much. God bless you. Barangay Lafilness. Bye.